Hey, it's Brian and Chrissy. We are live yeah. here at Country Fest 2015, uh, 2017. The uh, sun is shining. We got some bright blue skies, and we're joined by uh, one of our featured performers, Mr. Rodney Atkins. What's up, guys? Hello. How beautiful is it out here? Beautiful. Right. It cleared right up, didn't it? It's perfect, man. It's nice. like the humidity's gone. Yeah. Everybody's coming out. It's, it's beautiful. You got the uh, jerky hut right yeah, next to Yeah, the jerky know, hut. Right? Is yeah. that a thing? Like, will you make your way over to the jerky hut? I will try my best to, yes. Are you sure. a, do you like a, like a hickory? Are you a spicy guy? Do you like a Jamaican jerky? What's your flavor? Not really. Just just pretty straight up. You know, I don't. I'm not a big spicy kind of. Okay. Do you make your stuff. own ever? I never. I've never done that, man. I've got a neighbor that is the best jerky maker ever. Yeah. Really? So you like get the fruits of his labor. He processes <laughs> whether it's deer, or whatever it is. You yeah. Know? And like, it's crazy because like, if you go to the jerky hut. It's like seven or eight bucks for a few ounces, but your neighbor comes over and all of a sudden it's like three and four pound bags. <laughs> exactly, man. Right? Crazy. Does, so my kid, my son, <laughs> who's 15, uh, is a big deer hunter now. It's crazy about it. And he will he wants the whole deer made into jerky. Really? And he eats the whole thing. What? He's 15. He eats constantly. Eats everything. Right. Sure. He has hollow legs at this point. <laughs> and he will eat the whole deer. Yeah. <laughs> We're here with Rodney Atkins uh, at Country Fest, Gotta Cook Fairgrounds. You've had about a 20 year or so career right yeah. i mean we're going back to the late 1990s uh, and i guess my question to you over the course of 20 years you probably developed like kind of like a love hate frustration with the industry running the full gambit i would imagine is that is that safe to say <laughs> like, well, because you know y you're you tend to have ups and downs over a prolonged career yeah you know like Y'all kept apologizing, saying, sorry, we're running behind, sorry. But I'm kind of in, in one gear. Yeah. If it was, you know, on a tractor, they have the, the snail. I'm in snail gear. Yeah. I just, uh, I never get anywhere rushing, you know. Yeah. So I I kind of haven't had that that problem with it. I, I believe on working on what I'm working on right now, all in the best that I can before I worry about the next step. Sure. And if I, because if I get this right, then the next will take care of itself. And that's how and you I last average, 20 years. Uh, what, a, a, one new album every five years or so. Yeah. And, you know, it's like we're coming up on now. I just finished the last song for a new album. Awesome. Congratulations. Yes. We'll be out this, uh, this fall. We'll have brand new music that I think is better than anything that I've ever done before. And, and I've got to take my time writing songs, finding songs that will be around just like the tunes that play today, sure. the songs people know that are 10 years old watching you and if you're going through hell and these are my people. Well, you songs are 10 years old. And you've been through a lot and I love watching you. I have a, I have a two-year-old boy myself yeah, and, cool. and Chrissy has a six-year-old boy. Mm -hmm. And like those were the kinds of songs that didn't resonate until I had a child. Right. And, and hearing that song, it does it. First of all, kids are watching every move you make. And they're going to repeat everything you do. Yeah, man. And they're going to play out everything you do. Sometimes that could be a good or a bad thing. Is your 15-year-old pretty well behaved after watching Daddy all these years? You know, he is. He <laughs> still, you know, he does kind of dumb things that we, that we all do. But he's a great kid. And, you know, I, I know his heart. Yeah. And, um, you know, I can see him being drawn to certain things that, that I was, too. And we all kind of make mistakes, but that's part of if you're not making mistakes, you're not doing it right. We're talking to Rodney Atkins. We're at Country Fest 2017, Scattercoke Fairgrounds. And congratulations on the announcement. Another baby is coming. Yeah, man, we're going to have a little boy this uh, December. Awesome. We are stoked. My wife, Rose, is uh, about five months now. And uh, bless her heart, she's been sick as a dog. <laughs> yeah, is it, is it tough for you being on the road with a pregnant, you know, pregnant woman at home? Uh, you know, Rose sings. Rose is her own yeah. songwriter. songwriter she's yeah, She's written hit songs. Um, she hasn't been able to come out and she sings background for me a lot. Hasn't been able to come out to every show because of the flights. Just right. Yeah. Make her kind of crazy. But um, not really, man. We, we, She's been doing this longer than I've been doing what I do. She started out as an artist, as a Disney kid and all that kind of stuff. So she knows what the deal is. Who's a better right. songwriter, you or your wife? Oh, she is. She <laughs> is, is she really? Man. She's just melodically... Her pitch, she's a better singer, songwriter. She's unbelievable. <laughs> Will she write anything for you? We've Has written she? stuff for this new album. We've written a lot of stuff, and we actually have a couple of duets. Oh, great. And so we are stoked. We're excited about doing this stuff. You're an interesting man, to say the <laughs> least. You yeah. are, Rodney. We're, we're with uh, Rodney Atkins. 
Have you, I know you, we, we know you were adopted. Have you ever met your biological mother? Mother, yes. Does she know who you are? Yeah. She knows you're a very successful country singer? Yeah, when singer? I met her, she yeah. uh, wasn't very familiar with a lot of uh, secular music. Um, she had heard of me, and then and now, obviously, she, she well, doesn't know. I met her probably uh, six or seven years ago. Wow. Now, was that at your urging, or did she did she seek you out? You no, know, it was me. Yeah. What happened was I was the national spokesperson for the National Council for Adoption. Yep. Um, and in doing that, there was a lot of media about being adopted. Okay. I was having people come up with baggies of hair <laughs> to tell me they were my brother, sister, cousin, no uncle. No way. <laughs> Are you kidding? So I kind of said, you know, I need to, I need to figure this yeah, out. Yeah, we need Are to find so out. So I did me? find wow. out who my, my parents were. Found out my father is someone I don't want to meet. Um, found out some crazy stuff. Found out that I actually have a brother serving life for murder. Wow. And you started thinking about, man, I could have been that. I could have gone right. if, if I hadn't gone down the crazy road. That, oh, you know, my God. Right. With your adopted parents, <laughs> exactly. right? Exactly. And so I'm so grateful. Wow. Um, but she's wonderful. My, my bi biological mother is incredible. I'm cl very close with her. It's so natural to be around her. Found out that I have siblings, and uh, wow. it's pretty cool, man. That's great. Yeah. I, I, tell I, uh, you, I, I have a son. He's six. Um, my girlfriend adopted him from foster care. And oh, wow. It is, it is a beautiful thing to witness. And, you know, you say about um, the foster care program and adoption in general, um, it takes special people to bring people in and just, yeah, you know, take them as their own. and. It really is a beautiful thing to witness, but being on that side of it and actually meeting your biological mom, it must have been extremely emotional for her, but also for you. I mean, it's amazing. She just kept apologizing. I'm saying, no, I want to thank you. Right. Um, we actually have an event. Uh, it'll be, I think, July 25th. My wife and I, Rose, we do from live from our living room, and it's a it's a benefit for the home I was adopted from called yes. Holston Home for Children. People can hit my website or whatever. Tell, uh, so go ahead and say the website, Rodney. It's RodneyAtkins.com. Rodney okay, simple. And uh, or Twitter, all that kind of stuff. Uh, because it's, it's for the children whom I was adopted from. We've got to do a lot of stuff for them. Every dime goes to them. That's awesome. Um, on another note, I just actually got result. My wife, because I was adopted, for Christmas she got me a, one of those DNA tests where you find out really oh, where you're genetics, from. genetics, like your yeah, genes? Yeah, because I don't really know much yeah. about it. And so I found out that I actually, see, I came from uh, origins, go back to Egypt. Wow. And before that, I actually come from an African pygmy tribe. Stop. No kidding. And they're called the Twats. Get out of here. <laughs> I, don't I believe, swear. I feel like after you talked about your website, everything after that was a lie. <laughs> I swear. It, I couldn't make that up, man. With all of the life that you've experienced, why in the hell does it take you five years to write a record? Because it's got to be real. I've got to find good. songs that will be around yeah. for um, for another decade, yeah. you know? Um, when they came out with 100 most played songs of the decade recently, and Watching You was the number one song. You know, when I was told at one point, nobody wanted to hear about that. Right. Most hear me sing about my four-year-old saying a four-letter word. You want to find those tunes that'll resonate and be around, that'll be anthems. Like, I think Take a Back Road has, a, has this anthem vibe to it. If you're going through hell, and these are my people. And, yeah. Uh, I'll try to be conscious of that. Not just ditties that kind of go up into the air and disappear, mm -hmm. but tunes that become part, you know, pieces of, of folks' lives. People say, that's my song. And, and that's what I'm looking for, those tunes. And I think we've I think we've accomplished that. Rodney Atkins, thank that's you. Great. Thanks, guys. Thank you for a couple minutes. We can't wait to see you. Can't wait. Did you bring any of your of your boys jerky or do you, are you gonna have to go over to the jerky hut? Did you okay. bring did you bring any of that jerky with you or do you have to go no, over to the jerky go hut? Over and get it after the show. <laughs> All right. My man, thank you very much. <laughs> we thank appreciate you so a few much. minutes. That's so nice Rodney to meet you. Atkins. We're live at Country Fest 2017. It's Brian and Chrissy on 1077 GNA, Albany's number one for New Country.